Hello! How are you doing today? Thank you for coming to my woods. I'm Emery the Gnome. I thought we would do a project today. Would you like to do a project? All right. We will need some permission for using some scissors. But today I thought we'd make a caterpillar. Doesn't that sound like fun? All right. So the first thing we need is a sheet of paper. Just a normal sheet of paper from your, from your printer. Or you can use construction paper or whatever you would like. The next thing you need is a ruler. Some safety scissors. I'm using an ink pen. And then if you have crayons, colored pencils, Whatever you want to do to make your caterpillar, go right ahead. I'm using markers. So, we're going to make a caterpillar. And if you get permission from your, from your parents, you can look up and see all the different types of caterpillars out there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark some lines on the paper and then we'll be able to cut out our caterpillar. We're not going to use the whole sheet, so you can make several caterpillars per project. So I'm going to take my ink pen or pencil, whatever you have, and I'm going to make a mark here of one and a half inches. Now I'm doing one and a half inches because I thought an inch would be just a little too narrow for my caterpillar. So I'm just making two marks on the paper. See what I'm doing? And then I take my ruler and I'm going to make a straight line now, if it's not straight, straight, it's fine. Caterpillars come in all different types of shapes and sizes. All right, so I'm gonna put my pencil away. You may need somebody to help cut your paper if you don't, if your parents guardians don't feel like you can so I'm going to follow the line all right so I'm taking my time and I'm cutting my caterpillar out we have cut out our caterpillar but if he was out trying to eat, he would be seen by his predators. And a predator is an animal or a bird or another insect that might try to eat him. If you get an adult's permission, you can go online and see all the different colors that caterpillars are. They're each unique. So today, I'm going to color my caterpillar with different colors. So I'm going to start with yellow, because I like yellow, and I've seen some yellow caterpillars. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Now you can spend all the time you want to make your caterpillar just as special as you want to make him. Take your time. So my caterpillar, he's going to be yellow. I'm 
There we go. And a lot of times they have dots on their back and the dots kind of look like eyeballs sometimes. So I'm going to give my caterpillar some dots here. The eyeballs scare off some of the predators because they think something is big and bad and staring at them that might eat them. Take your time coloring your beautiful caterpillars. I'm going to put some circles around my, my dots. Do you see my caterpillar so far? Now I'm not coloring this side today, but I'm coloring this side. I'm going to give him a green stripe because I think he needs one. Your caterpillar can be any color. It can have letters on it. It can do, it can be anything. So I'm gonna put my, my ruler and my colors up. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to take and we're going to fold our caterpillar like so. So the colorful side's on the outside and we just folded him in half like so. All right. Now we're going to take one of these halves and we're going to fold it to the inside. So we got the colorful side and we just folded it to the inside to the center. See how we did that? I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to take and I'm going to fold to where we now have this. All right. Take your time. If you need to pause the video while you're doing this, this is fine. If you need some help from an adult or a big or big brother or big sister, that is fine too. All right. So now we're going to fold one more time to the center. See, it was like this. I have now folded it like that, and now I'm going to do the same thing with this side. So now we folded them once to the center, again to the center, to where we now have almost a book. And we're going to fold it up to where we're just like this. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, and let me show you on my caterpillar here. I've made his, his body rounded. To do that, it's real easy. And if you need help from an adult, please get help. But I'm just going to, I'm just cutting the corners. Now, however you cut them is fine. So that they're rounded. See how I rounded them? All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. As long as you don't cut all the way across, you're good. So I'm going to do this. There we go. 
and make sure you pick up all the little pieces of paper when you're done. That'll make your adult happy. So now he's kind of kind of curved on both sides. So we're going to open him up just like that. You don't want to stretch him out too much. All right. So now we need to decide which side is his face. So my caterpillar is going to have a smiley face because he's happy. Everybody's happy in my woods. Do you see my happy, smiley caterpillar? He's so happy. All right. So caterpillars are very beautiful, just like they are, but they will then decide that they need to go into a pupa. So they're eating their larvae. Do you know what a larvae is? It's kind of like a baby. So he will then go into a pupa, into a crystalla, and then he's going to come out as a beautiful butterfly. Yes, caterpillars are beautiful butterflies. I hope you've enjoyed our project today. If you're if you have an adult that has an Instagram account, put your caterpillar online and hashtag Emery Gnome. That's E-M-E-R-Y G-N-O-M-E. And that is Emery Gnome. I would love to see your caterpillar. Thank you so much for coming and you have a good day.